As we step inside this beautiful home, you'll notice the high ceilings that greet you at the entrance. As we move through the house, our first stop is the powder room. And down this short hallway is the living area. Adjacent to the living area is the dining room, and you can see there's plenty of space for a large table. I like that this living room has a bit of a split, so you can actually do more of a formal side, and then you've got the family room. I imagine you can have family and friends hanging out in the family room while someone's cooking up a storm in the kitchen. And check out all of this cabinet space. I think this is just fantastic. The stainless steel appliances all stay and check out that window that overlooks the backyard. As you can see, it's very open to the family room. We'll take a quick peek here at the garage. Of course, it's full of stuff, so we're not gonna linger. The backyard is really generous in size. You can see where they used to have a trampoline and there was plenty of space for that as well as other things. I think maybe the next owner might want to put in a patio cover and you might even be able to fit a pool. Moving to the second floor of the home, this area gets fantastic natural light as I peer over the banister. We'll go check out the first bedroom. I really love the owner's taste. I, I've always liked her Pinterest style. What I thought was great was they use some accent tile here in the laundry room and it just really brightens things up. The guest bathroom has two sinks and you have some privacy with the toilet and the tub shower combo in a separate room. Here's bedroom number two. Again, there's some cute styling here on the wall. And you have a pretty good walk-in closet here. The third bedroom was used as an adorable nursery. It's actually right next to the master bedroom, so that was very handy. Up the stairs is the loft, but we'll come back to that. Here's the primary bedroom. It's really good size. You can see you can definitely fit, you know, a high boy, maybe a bureau, a couple of nightstands. The primary bathroom has a separate shower and garden tub. You have two separate sinks and tile floors as well. In fact, you have tile floors in all of the wet areas of this house. The master closet is very generous in size. And now we're gonna check out the loft. So this room really has so much possibility. It could be an office, it could be a game room, it could be where your band practices. I mean, I just love this room and it's got really good light up here too. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have questions about this house or other properties, please feel free to reach out to me by leaving a comment below.